Hey guys, this is part two of our IFMA interview. All right, let's go take a seat. Get comfortable. Don't fall. All right, so we talked about, you know, some things leading up to your fights and some of the challenges and health concerns. Um, here's what I wanted to ask you next. Nice view, guys. What do you remember about your cornerman's instructions during the fights? Um, shout out to Jose for cornering me. Shout out. Coach Jose. Uh, I remember he told me, he pointed out to me before the fight that my opponent from Russia was a softball. And he gave me tips to like do the low kick a lot. But then after the first round that I lost, he just noticed that um, it wasn't working. So he just said like, screw the low kicks. Uh, punch, punch. I'm, I, I kind of forgot, but... That's mostly what he said. Like, I, I believe he was asking you to no more low kicks, and he wanted left kicks. He wanted more left kicks. Yeah, because you know when you fight a softball, you have to like chase them with left shots. And then I remember on the second fight against Vietnam, he just he told me that I was fine. I mean, yeah, I was fine. The girl wasn't as good as me. Uh, what did he say? He said clinch and knee. And then after on the third round when I need a lot more and I cornered her and then I started kneeing her and punching her, I got an eight count. So thank you for helping me get an eight count. Coach Jose. And also for getting you to loosen up a little bit before your first yeah. fight. When you oh were. yeah, he, he poured a bunch of water, like freezing cold water down my shirt and like made maybe the nasal spray and like made me do like hard shadow boxing. Not spray, not spray. Oh, uh, I mean inhale. The, okay. Yeah, he helped me loosen up a lot before. Yeah, got you loose, ready to, ready to get in there. Shout out Coach Jose, one of the best in the business. Okay. Um, which of your opponents was the toughest? You already kind of alluded to this a little bit. Russia. Um, what did you do to overcome her skills or her strength? Um, I just fought the way she did. I just fought the way she did. Like, I adapted the first round. The first round I uh, realized how she fights. Wasn't a big surprise, but it just woke me up a little bit. So then I started punching her back, and I started court, like pressuring her and and doing a lot of clinches because she she would literally just like punch me like like I want to show you, but I can't. She would just like oh, blah, 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 blah. and it would be like super bad, but it was hard just to like defend. Blitz, blitz punch. Yeah, it was hard to defend, but I I punched her clean and good. So a lot of boxing and clinching. And uh, uh, including one right up to the schnoz, right? Middle of the face. Um, just touch the button. A little technical work here. Um, all right, we're going to pause. We're going to try it again. All right, little technical difficulty. Uh, our microphones may or may not be working, but we're just gonna keep talking anyway and hope that the audio will come through. And, uh, yeah! And if there's any sponsors out there that want to sponsor us, make some better quality uh, content, fighting, instructionals, uh, traveling, and interviews on better microphones. Sponsor Let us guys. know, hit us up. Um, all right, back to the questions. <laughs> Do you wish you had a deeper division and could have got more fights? Um, because there yes, was... I did wish I had a deeper division because there's only two girls, three girls my size, and I really want to know who's the best in the world. So yeah. that could have changed my, changed my outcome, and it would have pushed me to work harder. Like, if I didn't get the result that I wanted, it would have it would have humbled me, like push me to work harder and make me better. And yeah, I mean, I just want to challenge myself more and and uh, what's it called? Put all my hard work to use. Put it to use, absolutely right, because we know you're capable of getting through more than two opponents, for sure. Yeah. But you gotta do it to prove it. Um, what was your approach to making your competition weight? I um, did a meal plan for a month, three weeks. I dieted like two weeks before that. 
It was a really good die. It didn't do anything, but... Uh... Who died before the meal plan? Even? Yeah. I died at the chase before the meal plan. And then, a month before the fight, like a month and a week, a month and one week before the fight, I did a meal plan by Fit Geeks. Fit Geeks. Shout out to Fit Geeks and Phuket. Yep. Uh, I, they, every day, they fed me two times a day, and then I could only have like 500 calories outside of that. Um, so, Usually after training, after the morning training, I would go to 7-Eleven and there, and I would get like a big cup of fruit or a smoothie with no sugar or sometimes yogurt and then I would go back to the room and then just like sleep or something and then they would send me my first meal around 12 o'clock, 12.30 and it would just be some boring meat, <laughs> some, go ahead. Go ahead. some boring meat and I really hated it but it's not the worst, you know, it could be could be worse. So they just gave me some plain meat or fish and then a bunch of vegetables. Like there would be so much vegetables in there, I hated it so bad. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry for but that those meals were nasty. <laughs> and then and then I would usually before practice I would eat like another clean snack. And then I'd go to practice at four o'clock. And then we would get back. I would eat my second meal around seven o'clock. And then get like another snack or something before bed. But, Usually fruit. yeah, I have one thing to say. I cheated on that diet so much. What? <laughs> I told him this. How dare you? I told him this. I cheated. I went to 7-Eleven and got like a bunch of snacks. Like, not a bunch. It's like, but I did cheat from here and then. And I would get some snacks and like donuts and stuff. Or like Oreos. But it still worked out. So, I'm happy. So, on the last week, I noticed... I was stuck at 51. I know, I was stuck at like 50.6. And then I couldn't go down. So then after that, I cut everything else out besides the banana bread. So it all worked out though. Sorry, Figgies. I cheated. But you were on week for the week of competition, which was the point of doing the whole thing. Yeah. And so you didn't have to do any drastic weight cuts during yeah. the week of the like, competition. Like the, the meals at the buffet, at the hotel, hotel. at the Athlete Hotel was not good at all. Like, there was barely, there was very few options that you could eat that were like healthy. Cause you know, it's like all those athletes cutting weight and they just have like a bunch of dessert and like super unhealthy, like protein options. So that wasn't very good. Yeah. But I still, I like starved myself like three days before weigh-ins because I was overweight a little bit. Yeah, I think you were being a little extreme. I think you could have ate a little bit, but it yeah. worked out. I, I didn't have to sweat it out, so that's all. All right, we're going to go ahead and pause it here. Stay tuned for part three.